What's up friends? Welcome back to another Paris vlog. I am still here. I woke up very early this morning because I was supposed to go on a wine tour today. However, we never got the meetup place or the time that the tour was supposed to leave. There was a bit of a mix up. And so I've been on the phone all morning with Chase Travel Rewards, which really sucks. So I'm kind of over it now. We're gonna try and reschedule it and we're gonna just try and enjoy the rest of our day. So I didn't have anything specifically planned for today, but I'm picking it back up. I'm picking it back up and just kind of going with the flow because we're on vacation today. So I think we're gonna go grab some lunch. I'm gonna take you guys with me. And then I want to try and go to one of the Hermes boutiques. And I know that there's going to be a line and I'm not sure if they're gonna let me film, but I'm gonna try and take you all with me. We'll see where the day takes us. And I did just book a reservation for dinner tonight on the left bank. So join me today, guys. I'm gonna take you around Paris and then we'll see also where the rest of the week takes us. Let's get into it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. My name is Sophia. I am a luxury content creator. I focus a lot on luxury beauty, fashion and a little bit of lifestyle and vlogging as well. So hit that subscribe button to join us. And with that friends, let's get on with this beautiful day in Paris. And then real quick friends, let me show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. Please excuse our open suitcases in the background. I decided to go just real simple today. So I have this little, actually this whole outfit is from Phoebe John, a brand that I've been telling you guys about. My friend actually designs these clothes. And as you can see, I love them. I've been wearing them nonstop. So I just got this little tank top from her brand and then these are her trousers i'm forgetting the name of the trousers but i'm gonna link them in the description box along with my coupon code i just wanted something kind of summery and elegant it is gonna be hot today but not as hot as it's been if you saw my first vlog you probably would have seen it's really hot out in paris it was like 94 degrees but then today it's gonna be like 85 degrees so i think it'll be better and then i'm wearing my little Hermes belt and then I've just got some simple sneakers and I have my Celine box bag, which is the bag that I've chosen for this trip. It just kind of goes with everything. So that is my outfit for today. Let's get outside.
I am back from shopping. I had a very successful shopping trip and I wanted to give you the lowdown of my experience at Hermes and maybe compare and contrast it to some of the other boutiques that I've been to here in Paris. Overall, I had a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed it. I was at the store for a while, like at least two hours, maybe more but it did work a little bit differently than some of the other boutiques that I have been in in the past. Now, I went to the Faubourg, Fa Faubourg store. It is the flagship store, the original store in Paris. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that super well. I decided to go there because I thought that maybe they would have the biggest stock, but I also knew that part of the risk is that maybe they would have the longest wait. Now, the shop is two floors. They have both men and women's. Obviously, if you wanna buy a handbag, you need a leather appointment for that. And so I've been applying for that online each day, but they only do about a hundred appointments a day and they've got like 6,000 people applying every single day. So it's kind of a long shot for me to, you know, ask for a bag or get an appointment for a bag. But if you wanna buy anything else ready to wear, you know, shoes, belts, scarves, all that kind of stuff, you can just walk right in and get it. Now, something that was confusing to me was like you, don't have to queue up outside, I guess, unless they're at capacity, which they weren't for me. I went at like two o'clock, 2.30 on a Monday, and it really wasn't that hectic. If it were maybe two weeks from now when it's gonna be fashion week, it's definitely going to be a madhouse. And I did confirm that with my essay. Like if you go during the holidays or fashion week, it will be very, very busy. Now I kind of walked around the store a little bit. I asked where the women's shoes were because I wanted to try those on. They said they were upstairs. So I went upstairs, but there were only like two sales associates there and there were quite a lot of people. So I think I sort of realized that you have to kind of go up to the sales associate and then enter a queue. So what they do is like, they'll take your name, you'll go into a queue, and then as soon as it's your turn, they'll come find you, which they're very good at doing, or they'll text you. So even if you wanna like go to another boutique on the street, of which there are many, they'll like text you and all that kind of stuff. I went up and I asked the lady and she said, of course, everyone was very nice, by the way. Some people are a little bit like, more serious than others, but once you kind of talk to them and you kind of like butter them up a little bit, they warm up to you. Like a smile goes a super long way, but the level of service was amazing. And she was like, yes, of course you can go into the queue. Just so you know, there's 18 people in front of you. And I was like, oh my God, okay. And I was like, yeah, no problem. No problem, I can wait, I'll be patient, come find me. I walked right over to the belts because they were like right next to each other. I waited there for a few minutes, kind of waiting for a sales associate. There's pretty much people everywhere like trying to get the attention of the sales associate. So that might be a little bit annoying to some people. So just kind of understand like when you go to these stores, it's nice that they kind of let you shop around and they don't bother you. Like they kind of let you freely like examine things, which is really nice. Like you can kind of make yourself at home, but if you want Want help you got to get their attention and get into the queue once you get a sales associate though your goal because like they are there to serve you so I was over by the belts and the original sales associate who took my name came over and said like oh are you interested in belts as well and I said yes I am and she said you know what I'm gonna try and get somebody who can help you with both both belts and shoes and I don't know what was up friends I don't know if they just liked me because I was trying to be extra nice because these people deal with a lot of people every day and they're very busy and whatnot and they're in the flagship store but I only waited like 10 minutes. <laughs> I think I jumped the line. I don't know what happened. I did not wait for 18 people to be served unless those people just kind of like bounced and didn't show up. So I had the nicest sales associate. She brought me like all the shoes I wanted. She even got me like little socks so I could try on the shoes. She was so sweet. She got me water. She kind of like chatted me up. She answered all my questions. Like she was like very social. Not all of the sales associates are like that, but she was like very social and sweet and everything. And she was like, yes, of course you can like take videos of the things you try on, which is very nice. Like you can't really, you're not really supposed to film in the stores, but if you're trying things on, they don't care. Like you can take photos of yourself. Maybe you're buying it for somebody and you're sending them a video. Really loved her. And she kind of got like a sense for my style. She kind of got to know me over the course of I don't know how long, I, I might've been talking to this lady for like an hour. She was super duper nice. And then we went over to the belts and I was trying on a couple of different things. And it's funny because like the one that I had sort of noticed that was up top, that wasn't kind of a part of the the other display, I had noticed that earlier. And then when we were shopping, she was like, oh, you know what? 
do you like that one up there? Because I feel like that one is your style. And I was like, oh my gosh, this lady gets me. <laughs> she was so nice. But all in all, guys, like it was a really, really nice experience. But my little tip to you is like just make sure i you know if it, if you show up and it's very hectic maybe come back a little bit later when it's died down i heard some guy say that they came in first thing in the morning which is what you would think would be be when would be best to come and he said it was very hectic and so they came back later that's my tip and then just you know be patient wait for somebody get in the queue so that you're not like kind of waiting around and then you waste a bunch of time because you didn't realize that there was a queue. They had the new beauty collection in as well, which I was impressed by because when I went to Miami, I remember like they didn't have any of the new beauty stuff. Yeah, what else? I don't know, they were really nice. The way that it works as well is that if you are gonna get something, you can shop around the whole store and they will kind of like reserve and save the items that you picked out. So when I picked out the shoes and the belt that I was going to get, they kind of kept them for me and then basically the last sales associate that you work with will be responsible for kind of gathering everything up making sure it gets boxed up taking you to the cash register and then there's some guy that checks you out and does your detox form and everything it was very very quick and then even at the end they were like would you like us to you know call you a taxi they'll put all of your hermes bags in like a more discreet white bag and they'll ask if you want a taxi i said no my boyfriend is gonna like come meet me here and she's like oh do you want to like sit down and have a drink while you wait like everything was really really nice i think as long as you kind of like get the attention of a sales associate and you finally get assigned one and you're patient, then like you get really, really nice service. So I really enjoyed it. I know you guys are probably wondering what I got and I did get a couple of things. I did get a couple of things. You're gonna have to wait until my unboxing video, however, to see those. However, I am gonna unbox one thing that I got right now. So give me a second, I'm gonna go get it. So here it is. What could it be? What could it be that I'm gonna unbox for you guys? It is a lipstick, of course, a beauty item. I have to show you guys what I got from the collection. I did get a lipstick and it comes in a little orange box, just like all of the bags. And it has a little dust bag as well. I'm doing all this with one hand, so please excuse me. This isn't like the greatest unboxing ever, but here is the beautiful little dust bag. And which one did I get? one of the lipsticks from the new collection so they have three new satin lipsticks and i just really love the ombre color of this one and the one that i got is called number 84 brilliant rouge abyss i like that name i'm gonna link this down below because you can get this online and then there's the little golden hermes logo right there and actually i took my other lipstick off so we can try this on this collection if i'm not mistaken they take like three just kind of like standard colors there's like a lighter purple more of a pink and then this deeper purple this is the darkest one and i remember reading online that they added like black powder or something to kind of take everything and give it this like more moody autumnal sort of tone so here is what the lipstick looks like. I'll move into the light here. It's kind of like golden hour. So that's why I'm staying out of the out of the sun. Try this on. Mmm. Ooh, it's kind of like richer than I thought. I think the eye look I have on today is a little bit too dark for this. Mmm, it has like a nice scent. It's like a little bit of a purpley brown. I really like it. Let me get into the light so I can show you guys this shade. Okay, here's better light. Maybe I should have filmed that over here. <laughs> I was sitting at the little kitchenette table. So this is what it looks like. Really beautiful. It's kind of like a, a fall berry. It's not as dark as it looks like in the tube. But yeah, and this is what the packaging looks like. Here you guys can get a better look so yeah we really turned this day around i'm excited and it actually it was cloudy earlier and now it's sunny and it's not as hot as yesterday so yeah such a such a beautiful afternoon so we have dinner reservations on the other side of the river so i'm guessing we're just gonna walk over there a little bit later but yeah that was my little rundown of the hermes faubourg 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 i'm so sorry the hermes store experience <laughs>
morning friends it is now the next day i wanted to tell you guys about the dinner that we had last night so once i got back from shopping we did walk across the river over to the left bank and we went to a restaurant that was called les parisiennes les parisiennes so the parisians and i found this restaurant on eater 38 very last minute because we were supposed to go on a wine tour yesterday so i hadn't booked anything for dinner and it was very good it's a part of a hotel so if you stay at that hotel i'm gonna list the uh, hotel and restaurant down below if you stay in the hotel you get to eat like breakfast and stuff in that restaurant and i feel like that kind of makes it seem like it wasn't that good but it actually was delightful the service was very good the food was delicious we we're very full by the end of it and it's kind of like very elegant fine dining but like not too too fussy like i like having a nice elegant meal perfectly cooked food very well presented but not like you know two bites <laughs> for a plate i thought it was really really good highly recommend we had a really nice evening we walked back along the water and we got back a little bit late because our reservation was at 9 30 because i don't know we just like to eat late we don't really go out but we like to eat dinner pretty late so anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i am wearing the lipstick that i got the hermes one yesterday because i just wanted to show you guys how i would basically wear this lipstick i did kind of like a very light eye anyway i hope that this was helpful or at least just entertaining to you all don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and also leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of all the eye candy what you thought of this vlog what other vlogs you guys want to see and make sure you stay tuned for a what i bought in paris unboxing video where i'm going to show you guys all of the little luxury goodies that I got on this trip. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.